What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and check this out. We're finally to the free play for LEGO The Incredibles. This happens to be level one Undermine. We're going to get a trophy achievement called Kit Car, which is actually given to us for completing our first level with all 10 mini kits. We're going to get that true stud requirement there. As you can see, we need 150K to get that. And uh, for getting that and all the mini kits, we're actually going to get two blind bags that are going to be available for purchase at the end, which we'll probably do. I don't know how we're going to do that yet. It's still up in the air. But uh, hey, here we are. We're jumping for joys. We've got free roam absolutely complete. We're going to go ahead and pull up our map and toggle over to the left once, which is going to give us this area where we can scroll through all the levels we've played through. We're going to go ahead and select level one, as we've already talked. You can see we've got one gold brick down below. No mini kits, though. And notice, too, we can actually choose different portions of the area. So you may already have mini kits for certain areas, and you may be able to skip some of this stuff. But if not, go ahead and choose whichever area works for you. Pick a character that you want to use. Keep in mind you'll have access to all of them, but it is important to know that we are going to need a character with mind control. If you don't have one earned yet, make sure that you make your way to Edna Modes and create one before going any further. Most of the other abilities that we use in this are characters or abilities that we have found throughout free play, or excuse me, free roam or got in the story. So uh, that all being said, make sure you've got a mind control character. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, left a little short on the mini kit department. But on the on the flip side, you can actually later return, select the area you're missing the kit for, which should be the final area, area three here, which is called Inside Tunneler. But uh, that's a whole nother story. Now, keep in mind, each one of the story levels actually has a specific trophy achievement to the area. Now, I was going to get it in the free play because I missed it in the story. And then I totally missed the timing on this and ran out of guys, so I couldn't get it in the free play either. So we'll come back and do a video for that. But it's called Cleaned, Well Lubricated, and Wound Tight. And it required us to throw five enemies into the gears. And I do believe it's right after we get through this giant gear here. Uh, there are two gears, one on either side of the ramp we have to cross, and I do believe those are the two. That, that's how it's explained in the Trophy Achievement Guide that Tyler P. put together. Shout out to Tyler P. for hooking us up with all this info. It's about time I'm finally getting to use it, huh? Hmm? All right, we've gone ahead and taken out all the bad guys in this first section. All cutscenes have been removed. This video is ever slightly so sped up. And uh, that being said, we also have quick links down below, which I don't think I've talked much about. But uh, hey, if you're looking for a particular mini kit, go ahead and use those links down below. We're going to actually get to the first one right now, though, actually, as there are three of these silver, I don't know what they are, they look like some sort of like tanker, like it looks like a gas, like a propane gas tank or so something like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and blow them up with Bomb Voyage. We've got one on the first area there, and the next two are in the second area. Now, one is on this side of the ramp, and you can see the other one in the far left back corner. So we'll go ahead and get those and say bum voyage to you. And look at that. We've got our first minikin. Woo to the hoo. Now, this is the area. I do believe these are the gears, and these are the bad guys. See, I should have been picking these guys up and tossing them into those gears. Now, I could be wrong on that, too, but I believe that's where it is. Again, I'll do a video on that at some point, maybe sooner than later. Let me know down below if that's something you're having issues with. Of course, our Trophy Achievement Guide does have a bunch of information on it there. But anyhow... Uh, you're going to want to select Mr. Incredible or somebody with the uh, capabilities of lifting large things. I get a little carried away here with a super attack. Get everyone cleared out. And again, I should have thrown him into the gears. And look at that. Okay, I picked it up. Now we got it out of the way. Go ahead and slam it. And now we've got need for Frozone again. So we'll go ahead and switch to the old Man of Ice. And oh no, I got a funny angle. I've got a guy on my back. And this is just not working out. I do have to do a butt slam or two. Oh, no, I give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha. Oh, he's got bringing buddies. That's not fun. I'm going to go ahead and try to target this anyway. And yes, I get it. It actually creates this weird wheel out of ice. And look at that. It flips over the lid. And there is our next mini kit. We'll go ahead and grab that. So two down, eight to go. Uh, the next one's actually right across the ramp on the back left side. And we're going to need somebody big like Mr. Incredible. See, here we go. I'm throwing a gear here. See, I, I give it a shot here. I got one guy in there, and I'm looking around like, where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, there's another guy over there to the right. I don't see him. He's not moving, so I don't, <laughs> didn't see him. And, okay, so I grab him, and I got maybe two. May, maybe two. But uh, you actually need five enemies, so I was three short. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and grab a mini kit by smashing through this wall on the left side. There is a wall on the right as well, and unfortunately, it does not yield such awesomeness 
It actually gives us some stuff we can build into a minecart, which I don't think we need that one. We do need one that uh, we're going to find here with the help of Elastigirl. So this is a story-based element. If you're in a hurry and you just want to get to them collectibles, go ahead and use the quick link for mini kit number four. That'll take you to the street level, which is the next little section we're going to take on. And that one actually is a little bit scattered. We actually have some... Uh, oh, no, that later. that's later. That's later. We have some bird cages that are in the final section that are a little bit of a pain in the tuchus, but... All right, after using Elastigirl in the old go-go gadget arm section, we're going to go ahead and smash the items she brought back, or I guess lifted up. And, uh, you know, I had a hard time with her switching into this old bouncy toy here. I'm not sure why I kept doing that. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually used her. I didn't really need her a lot in the free roam. Anyhow, we go ahead and we skip another cutscene. That's why it faded to black there. We actually missed a couple of minutes of uh, dialogue. But then we find ourselves with uh, Mr. Incredible under this giant device that Underminer is controlling. And then, of course, you guys probably remember this from story. We actually have three citizens in peril here. Now, I was trying to cheat. As we talked earlier in the free roam, we got a bunch of extra Incredibricks. And I was really hoping that those were going to apply to this spot here, but it doesn't. So we actually have to save the civilians. But first, we're going to go ahead and make our way to the far left side of the area and pull out a character with Silver Brick breaking ability. I like this guy, Anchorman's Goon. He's got fishies with little, uh, like, detonation devices at the end of the... I don't know. They got, like... Uh, detonation in collagen lips. I don't. I don't know. So th their lips are all puffy and they explode. That's probably probably a bad thing. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a small character to get through the old hatch there. Once we get through the hatch, we've actually got uh, quite the acrobatic wall here to get up. It's one of the longer ones that we've seen in a while. Go ahead and get your ba boing on. Get all the way to the top. Smash the glowing chest on the left. And look at that. We're gonna rebuild them bricks into mini kit number four. And oh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and drop back down. And now we're going to fly over to the right hand side where the green goo is. You might have noticed that. Look, oh, yeah, that's right. I tried to go ahead and use my incredible, but I'm short. I don't have any. And you got to fly a little bit higher than normal to get over that green goo. There's kind of an invisible wall there. But over on the far right, there's actually an apartment wall that's been busted. Go ahead and fly inside and grab that mini kit. Nobody in that apartment's going to be needed anymore. So, and we'll just blame the cleaning lady if anybody asks, anyways. All right, next we got this uh, spot with Dash. Uh, we actually flew over that, but you might need to use Violet, or I guess it's it's free play. You should be able to like switch whatever character you got. So just fly over it. That's the easiest way to do it. And uh, we saved Granny by just simply using the old sprint path there for uh, Dash. And then look at that. It dropped a whole bunch of furniture down with that at first incredible brick as well. So we'll collect that. And then we're going to need to switch to Violet because we know her psionic sphere is going to be great for collecting all them lavender or violet bricks. <laughs> All right, so smash them and collect them up with their sphere and get there. Do your master build. Here we go. This actually builds a crazy, like, flower. I don't know why, but it grows up, and it saves Buddy. He can drop down. Whee! And because of the momentum, he flings that uh, upper door open, and it drops that incredible brick down for us. So two of three. We are good to go. Now, I, I believe this thing needs four, though, right? There's one more up there inside the side of his uh, giant machine but we also have another mini kit here so before we get too far and uh, we're going to switch to a character with the tracking ability now uh you know i kind of assumed i didn't really mention the tracking ability in the front screen there but i kind of assume you guys have been following along and uh have free roam done and you've got all of the red bricks and all this and, and of course all the pixar characters too which would give you the tracking ability if you don't then just keep in mind you can go ahead and go to edna modes after you complete this level create a character with the tracking ability and then just use the second area to when you when you go to free play just choose the second area to load in and boom you can go right there so maybe a little bit inconvenient but still pretty pretty quick really uh, all right, so hey, check this out. Thumby's got a helpful tip for us. We got some quick links down below, as I've been mentioning, and they might come in handy right now, especially if you're in a hurry, as we still have some more incredible bricks to collect, and then we've got a little bit of story stuff to finish before we get to our next collectible. I think it was actually like two and a half minutes or something like that, to be completely honest. So, uh, you know, if you want to hang out and check this out, hey, let's do it. Uh, you know, maybe you've played this, maybe you haven't, maybe this is the first time, maybe you've never seen this level. Uh, that being said, uh, welcome. It's actually, it's been a really enjoyable game. It's been easy but complicated at the same time, just because the order of how uh, they give us certain characters and abilities was a little different. The same with the red bricks. Like, we didn't even have to pay for the red bricks. That was a bonus. I will never complain about a LEGO game that doesn't charge for the red bricks, especially when they're stud multipliers. That is always a bonus. So look at that. All right, we've got three of the four Incredibricks, and we seem to have saved everybody, but look at that. 
As soon as we get that third one, it actually, uh, look at that, Mr. Incredible is free, and it has revealed the fourth Incredible Brick up top. So we lose kind of uh, Frozone for a second, even though we can switch our other character. Oh, wait, we already have him. Ha-ha. <laughs> it's kind of a weird little flaw, I suppose. And it's telling me i got to collect more Incredible Bricks, although I see it. So just switch to a flying character to make things easy. Just zoom right on up there. Check it out. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. This is a little bit of a, a, a wonky landing there, though. <laughs> I get them all. Now we just have to go and step onto the family build. Now, you probably got a trophy achievement for completing that in the first time around because we do get one for our first family build. Uh, I can't imagine you don't have that yet. But again, maybe you've never played this game. And uh, so look at me. I'm thinking, all right, here's some more gears. Uh, those aren't really gears. More of like tread, kind of like uh, tired tank tracks, if you will. Uh, so I thought, you know, hey, I already had two, so maybe if I had three, I might be able to... But then I thought, you know what, those aren't even real gears, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my family build. And we've got a nice little multiplier going. Oh, look at that. Actually, we didn't get any for taking guys out rapidly. We only had our 960, which, keep in mind, too, if you're wondering how we have a 960 multiplier, it's because we have completed all of the free roam and have the red bricks already ready, buddy. Now, and, and we're doing that, too, because there is a 1 billion trophy, or excuse me, 1 billion stud required trophy slash achievement called billionaire and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that without a whole lot of farming just like that's kind of one of the reasons we did the free roam first another reason was to get those abilities because there are some you can create in Edna's spot and there are some that we need like the super destroy which we still don't have but rumor is it's in one of our couple of blind bags that we got for completing the story so as long as you've completed the story and you've got a little extra studage you should be able to pick that guy up and once we get there we'll uh, we'll go ahead and grab it and we'll let you know when we do because we don't want you to get uh, you know into a level and be missing something but all right we're about to move on to the next area there it was and here is area three this is actually inside the tunneler and you can see there's a ladder right here we're going to drop down and on the far left side you might have missed it if you blinked there was a bird cage and it happens to be the first of five now don't worry i i, I got my numbers right yes that did say mini kit number eight one of five that is because before we get the fifth part of that mini kit, we actually collect another mini kit. I should have got them in a better order than I did. I usually try to get them all, you know, in, in sequence. But uh, every once in a while, it just makes sense. Or sometimes you can't get them in the right order. So anyways, I, I get the next one right here. You can see the next bird cage is on the back right corner of this little uh, island, this little metal island that we're up on. And once I take out a few of these guys, I actually build up a super attack. And during that super attack, I actually destroy the bird cage. Uh, if you don't get it in the super attack, just simply go up to it and do a butt slam or give it the old cha-cha-cha. Here we go. Pom, 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 pom it up. And there it goes. Two out of five is complete. Once you get all these guys done, go ahead and drop down the double ladder. And once we get down to the double ladder, it's going to actually queue up a cinematic scene that is kind of relevant to what we're doing here, but kind of not. I thought about pulling it out like the rest of them. But I ended up leaving it. So basically, there's two goons up here, and they are screwing around. One's basically saying, whoa, bro, you're throwing too much in there. It's getting a little too hot to trot. But the other guy's like, nah, man, it's never too hot. Come on. And he tosses it in, and then things go a little bit hourly here, and it gets a little too hot to handle. He jumps up, and it gives us back control. We're going to go ahead and go to the far right side of this railing, and Buyoko show. We've got three of those five dealt with. Now, if I would have gone all the way into the other area, I could have gotten four, and then five is right up above us. But, following my trophy achievement guide, written by Tyler P., I didn't want to miss out on this opportunity, because I wasn't exactly sure that I would remember if I didn't do it right now. So, we're going to switch to a character that can light up a dark cave, like Jack-Jack. You're going to have to switch to the flaming ability there. And look at that, I can sneak right in through there and grab that mini kit just waiting for us. So, that is number seven which uh, gets us caught up. Now we're back to counting bird cages, which again, we've got one over to the far right in the next little area that we'll get in a second, and then one up top. Now, a little confession here. After we smash and build up this cart, you gotta push it into place, and then you gotta go and switch over to Violet and hop on the old psionic sphere, which you can see right here. Right there. We need, to, we need to hop right there. Now, we also need dash to speed things up. And I had a little bit of a brain fart, and I forgot about the dash part. And I couldn't try. So, so I, like, actually went up to the next level, looked around, took out all the bad guys. I did not take out the birdcage up there, though, so that was good. And, and then I finally figured it out. Oh, duh. I need to come out. So I edited all that out. That's what that transition was right there. And essentially, just make sure you got Violet and then Dash, hop into Violet's Psionic Sphere, and then pull up into the old, uh, I don't know what you really call that there, the receptacle, and uh, pom, 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 pom it up. Push up, as indicated on your arrow there. 
and it lifts that crate all the way up top. I guess it's more of a uh, train cart. But then, then it gives us the indication we could go ahead and throw somebody up with Mr. Incredible. Well, in our case, we actually have a character that can fly, so we'll just fly up there. And we'll do that now. Now, I mentioned that I already came up here and took out all the bad guys. You're probably going to see a handful of baddies right here. They've already been dealt with. Here's the birdcage, though. But slam, save the old birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And we'll drop down to this other area that I keep talking about and grab this guy. Now, there is another mini kit right to the right of it. You can see up top there, there is a grapple plug. You're welcome to go ahead and pull that down and grab it. We're going to get it in a minute or two. But first, we're going to go ahead and use our mind control. As you can see here, we got this guy inside. He has no idea what's coming. And unfortunately, we have no character unlocked yet. You may have one from a mystery bag. We haven't unlocked any of the mystery bags other than the ones that it forces us to open. So you can see here, I've uh, made him flip the switch, which moved that conveyor belt down and dropped a handful of bouncing bricks. I can already tell it's a mini kid. So I ran him into the wall there. He's got to go sit in the corner for a minute. And uh, he's been a bad boy. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to go ahead and look at it. What do you think of my hairdo? Is it too much like uh, syndromes? I kind of feel like I'm copying somebody. I figured that the old uh, the striped shirt might take away from that, but I still feel like I'm just kind of a little bit too much in sync with Syndrome. All right, anyway, we're going to go ahead and push that cart into the magical spot and spin to win here. As you can see, we've got this gear. And, oh, no, we dropped a whole bunch of coal in there. That can't be good. It's actually going to overheat the whole system, give us this crazy... It totally reminds me of the old Looney Tunes, you know, warehouse gone bad scene. Everything goes kaplooey, and then it gives the controller back to you. Look at that. We got we got studded all over the place, too. Watch out. Now, uh, we have to do a bunch of stuff to complete this, but because we can fly and all sorts of things, we can skip some of it, which is nice. We don't have to lift up that spot. We're going to drop down and go all the way over. Next, we need to get our grapple on. Remember, I told you there's that spot. And that's actually going to be where the final mini kit is for the first level, and it should reward us with the kit car trophy achievement now if you're wondering why we get a trophy achievement called kit car well i probably haven't explained that well enough yet it's because after you get all 10 mini kits they actually build up into some sort of a vehicle right now we are lacking a few vehicles uh, to complete our overall collection and once you get all 10 in a level it actually completes one of those vehicles so a uh, kit car mini kit car you know kind of like my name in a dub it's kind of a breakdown of some cool words that uh, only make sense when explained. <laughs> but there it is. <laughs> we got that kit car trophy achievement. And uh, we've also, we're, we're going to hear in a second, we're going to see that we've got, uh, oh, look at that. I didn't skip this. I thought I totally skipped this. But uh, you should be able to fly up top. And once you do that, you should be able to just go to the back where the Elastigirl spot is and approach that. Once you get that all done, did it should take us away. Oh, well, almost. It actually takes us up to the next level. Oh, there's a bluesy. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. Don't forget, we've got the stud attract red brick turned on as well. So that's going to help us get all those nearby studs without having to go and run all the way over there. But uh, go, go, gadget arms here. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up with this final stretch. Uh, that's right. It's got a, it opens up the old strong handles on the left-hand side. Now, if I do remember correctly, there's another spinning gear here. Yep. Okay. We got to try this one more time, right? So, in, if by my math, I should have three or four bad guys into the gears. I try to target them, and then I get taken out from behind. That's no good. So, we're going to try this again. Oh, see, this is just not working out for me. I'll be back for this trophy achievement, I promise. When I see this stuff bouncing around, too, I'm like, ooh, I wonder what that is. I build it up. It's just another mine car. Now, hey, keep in mind, there is some extra studs there. So, if you aren't like us, and you don't have all these red brick stud multipliers on, getting you 177 plus million studs... Uh, then, you know, you might need a few extra studs to get that true, what is it, true, uh, I don't remember what it is. Uh, just a stud requirement. Come on, my, even my notes are off. That's my bad. It's true something. True awesomeness. True believer. No. True something. Okay, so there's, there's another one. So there's at least four. All right, four. Let's try it one more time. Come on, pick you up, maybe. Come on, swing and miss, swing and miss, swing better, better. Okay, there's, that should be five, right? So clearly there are certain gears that you need to get. Oh, well, mate, let's try this again. No, all right, there's another one. Right, oh, one more time, one more time, last last chance. So we got at least three, maybe four right in that one, and it didn't work. And we had a couple earlier, and I'm out of bad guys. Boy, I almost couldn't pull that one off. <laughs> Dry mouth, been talking too long. But uh, that's going to do it. We're going to go ahead and pull back these orange handles with our strong man here. Spam, 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 spam. All right, it rips it open. And to the final cutscene we go. Oh, we're going to skip that. I should have edited that out. My bad. 
But here we go, final totals, undermine, free play, complete. We got the gold brick for completing the story. We're going to go ahead and get the true super. I guess that was pretty easy, huh? Which was only 150k. We got 177 million. And here's that first mini kit car I was talking about building up. We got 8, 9, and 10, completing the undermine. Oh, it's the micro tunneler. And uh, we're going to get another blind mystery bag available for purchase. So uh, stay tuned for those. Hey, that's going to wrap it up, though, for LEGO The Incredibles Undermine Free Play. Can't believe we're finally getting these mini kits. We've got, what, 11 more levels to go? So uh, that's going to wrap this one up. As always, until next time.